is that their think tank sits at the highest top. What do they do? They think on how to expand the company. That's their duty. When Nestle came and you know Nido and all those Nido now remember Nido, uh, Nido or Nido, uh, um, what is it called? Um, um, what, um, what is this? Uh, this is a drink, beverage. Milo, you know they started with tin, tin, tin. Cowbell came and started change the narrative. They were laughing at them. Ah, for the poor. Ah, for the poor. Ah, for the poor. For the poor. Cowbell was able to build a base. And next he discovered that nobody's buying can, tin. What happened to Nestle? They went back to search it. Is that not true? There are people who are solution providers. They are paid highest in the company. They are paid the highest. They are paid the highest. They stay there to think about how to project the company. They say that to think, like all this MTN, all this, they know, you know, you say that ah, MTN, ah, every year they give uh, um, profit of about $20 billion, Nairas. Every year, ah, billion of profit. Even with that profit, they are not yet satisfied. They need to take over everywhere. That's capitalism. And Bible supports it. That's a God. Bible will now fall among people and raise one man. And raise one man. That's why Genesis chapter 26, we read from us, from us, there was famine in the land. God told Isaac, don't go anywhere, remain in this land. Isaac remained in the land. And what happened? Bible said, he planted, harvested, in fact, he became so rich that he became wealthy. That was the day I knew that there's a difference between being rich and being wealthy. They are not the same thing. For you to be wealthy, money goes on message for you. Where all these things are coming from? The brain. Oboro. Touch your brain. Say, God, let this thing work. In the name of Jesus Christ. But unfortunately, many of us, we wake up, we want to start business, we just copy Cadbury. We start there. No original thinking. It will fail. Because if there's no original thinking, it's the same thing new. So why do I have to come to attend to you instead of going to shop right? Why do I have to come to you instead of going to um, Palmas? Why do I have to come to you? Well, but if you have original thinking, someone now discovered that, look, what do we do now? Okay. There are people who are who work. They don't have enough time to go to the market to buy food. Do you know it's it's now? It's going now. You call them, you launch into their app, you write out what you need, you sell the money, they'll go and do the shopping for you and bring it to your house at a token price, probably five hundred naira. Now try to imagine that five hundred naira in two hundred. We're talking about 50,000 naira. And they have lifted the burden off you. And even if they take 1,000 naira, you will not care. Because you know that they have lifted. Do you know in first stack, you go to fifth Avenue, there are women that cook soup. They have their card. If you want 2,000 naira soup, they will cook for you. One ten thousand naira soup. That was when I knew that there's a soup that is 200,000 per pot. Look, I mentioned the play, go and check. Early in the morning, all these big time women, as they are driving, they are bringing their pots, handing over. They, one of the women has a house in First Stack. That's what she's capable of doing. God has given all of us different capacities. I don't need to come and be doing what you are doing. Because, ah, it favored you. I start doing that. Ah, start joy. Ah, he's doing this. Let me join her. Uh, 
Yeah. By the time you are entering that journey, because it's not God, what God has called you, you are going to take away the waster for her. That as you are entering, the price will go down. You'll be the victim. I should still be the, 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 the winner. Why? Because you are entering into a domain that you have not cleared with God. I hope you understand what I said. So, he said that Isaiah 48. He said, Isaiah 48, go to Isaiah 48. Isaiah 48, 17. He said, you're the man, the only one of Israel, which teacher did to profit. He did not stop there. How can you profit? He said he would lead you the way that you should go. He showed every way that leads to profitability. There are ways that leads to profitability. That is why you need to wake up from slumber. Youth, wake up. Even church, church now is no longer what it used to be. Hey, is that not true? You keep on waiting. People come to church. Oh, okay. People, you will not see anybody. You know, there are people that have churches, online churches. Only they have membership, 200, 3,000 online. At the end of the day, uh, casually. And many of you do drop there. You know, as God have touched you, so okay, let me drop 1,000. Now, when uh, 1,000 people drop 1,000, what do, how much do we have? 1 million. The man will go and look for the house. Go and eat good food first. Break his fast. So, even us in the church, we need to wake up too. That was at the moment this COVID started. We were the first to go online. That was the first week. We were the first to go online. I never knew that people knew. Some called and said, Congratulations. One man who has never said anything good. Only critique, 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 critique. You know, that Okane, that 22nd, it was shifted. It was cancelled that Sunday. You know, we are here outside there. That was the day the thing started. By the following Sunday, we were already online. The man called me and said, Vika, I never believe you can be able to handle this. God is a witness here. Ask her. He said, you, God will bless you. Congratulations. You know, I don't joke. If I want to finish, I'll tell you I didn't like this. We argue. But this one, uh, uh, I told my heart for you. But I will support you for this. We are struggling and struggling and struggling. Even with time, we never knew that camera can be tuned. We thought it was because of no light or because we are dark. That was another challenge. We had to move on. Try to find ways. It got to a point where said, no, all of you are sit down. Be thinking about Asha. All the media team, all of them. And David, I used to come to visit. Sit down. No, 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 I don't want to know this story. Get a solution to it. We put light. Look at the altar. That's one light here, light here. That's one here, one here. Will I put the bulb inside my eyes? So the thing will be clear. Then, shh, I don't want any stupid argument. Be thinking. Go to the man and be reading it. Nobody is living here. All of us are sitting with me. We must find a solution to it. That day we discovered it was from the tuning. Is that not? So it took us three hours. Sweat. We discovered it was the tuning. When they tuned it, they said, hey, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. It's clearer, it's clearer. Something passes. They said, one wish passed. That's no wish. That's no wish that passed. Keep on tuning. Guess what? We have to get, do it here. And that day we were able to get it. We became bright and very sharp. So, brethren, these are the things we are talking about. Don't joke with yourself. You know, why the first century is important? Number one, it gives you new ways of critical thinking. You are versatile. Number two, it completely developing problem solving skills. Because it's the first century. It will solve problems.
there are problems everywhere. So problem needs to be solved. Tell the neighbor, problem needs to be solved. That's why when you come to a place, don't look at the positive things. Look at the negative things there. Even before, ask my wife when we were in a car uh, church in Butemeta, you know, in Butemeta, most of our members are those who sell fish at Oyimbo. Oyimbo. That's one man. He said fish. What I was preaching. I said, you people say, every day you are passing through but you put your fish on the floor. Everybody, because this one put everybody. Whoa, whoa. Try to change the narrative. Go and get iron sealing machine. How much is it? Put it, seal it, seal it. Take the whole night. Seal your own. Add 10, 5 naira to it. People want to buy your own. Even if it's, the cost is high. Two things, number one, because of hygiene. You say, no, you can't understand. You know, when people are lazy, and laziness have eaten you, you will, never, you will always be looking for excuses, excuses, excuses. That's how you know you are lazy. When you are lazy, you are being advised, uh, do this, do this, do this. Uh, we've tried. Uh, we, we, did it even, we even did it. We, uh, we, uh, the other time, when we started, we even looked at it. We even went around Lagos. We even, you are only looking for a school to justify your laziness. That's how you know you are lazy. Praise the Lord. Is that because of what I said? Is that, uh, I said, is it because of what I said? Okay, okay, okay. I know, I'm just putting her legs. So, brethren, so you must be a problem solver. For example, so by the time I finish that, let's just even we show your face. The way you even talk. The way you even breathe. Uh, uh, uh. What I said, eventually, another person got wind of you. Francis, uh, uh, my secretary's brother, she said, okay, let's try this. And Vika is saying, she tried it that night, that day, that week. What he sold, he came. He didn't know when he came to say it. He now asked me, "Have you sold fish before?" I don't need to sell fish to know it. So you must be different. You must solve problem. Unless you can solve problem, you cannot make it. All those who can solve problems are those who can make it a life. Two men were sent to Kanu to go and evaluate, do market research. It with a company, there's a company that was in Lagos here. I won't mention the company we're online. They were sent, one evil man and one other man from another place. Is it one thing with us, Ibos, is that that's inbuilt capacity God has given to us for solving problems. All you need to do is to activate it. People do that hell ah, like this guy that buried this morning in Oba. But I said also, wait, 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 wait. There are more people who are richer than him in Ibo land. That's, there are people who are richer than him far. Who are richer than him? But it's only that his community is the problem of his community. Give his scholarship to people around. Now, so we have that inbuilt capacity. So when they go to Kanu, ah, one said, ah, no market here. People are not wearing shoes. People are not wearing shoes. The other one said, hey, that's what possible for us to wear shoes. For them to help them to encourage them to wear shoes. So they came back. This one wrote his report. This one said, ah, going there is a waste of exercise. The other one said, going there can make us, give us breakthrough. Give us the leftovers, shoes. Let's introduce them how to wear shoes. By the time they start wearing it, you now see them to enjoy. They will start enjoying it. Those people, they will now start. Oh, yeah. Bamota Klami. Oh, yeah. Take. They wear the shoe. They wear one leg, and we say, Come back. Take the second one. They wear the boots. Hey, hey, 
Hey. So by the time they go home, their legs is clean. Ah, they, that was how they started. They made that man the regional man, regional general manager. Northern regional general manager to be in charge of the north and chart. By the time he finished, he made it and you know there are people they wait only when the food is done, they will not come to want to eat it, share it. You know, so that's it. You must be able to know how to make soft problems. Old ways of doing things cannot give you a new result. Develop capacity to solve problems. And also to the first century for the youth. It activates new ways of innovation and acquiring skills. New ways. They should be finding look for new ways of acquiring skills. Somebody was they were selling chim chim on the road. Sorry, plantain this plantain chips in a nylon. Somebody invented sealing it with address. Is that not true? And added fifteen dollars to his or her own. Is that not true? The two of them on the road, you want to buy, which one will you buy? The one I have by the time people finish buying his own, others started jumping in. It was really late. He left the business. When pure water came out, it was ice water that was raining. If you may not know who were in Lagos, it was ice water, ice water. Ice water then. Huh? In Ireland, you know, that has points. So you just tear the thing. It's the, this thing you need to cut it. You do that. You put it in your mouth, begin to squeeze it. And you are sucking your mom's uh, this thing. Even ice cream. So now, Kocharis stepped into it. And said he was the first to start producing water. Pure water. We wanted to go into it. Oh, I called my friend, said, let's start it. Let's go and get a house. What I'm saying is that, he said, ah, how are we going to get it? Ah, I would suggest this. He said, ah, that was why I had to travel. That one I wanted to use. I wanted to use to start that business. That was 1992, 1993. But he said, ah, this, ah, this, ah, 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 ah. I said, what is that? Ah? Does it mean that? He said, ah, don't even, ah. Now after God, now after we come, police will come. That like was even passing down there, was arresting people that then now that has not entered. Because after people started coming in, now that that organized a seminar for all of them, they know. Oh yeah, come and let's teach you how to do it so that you do it well. By that time, I'll be discouraged by a colleague. I said, let's do it together. And ever since I, I abandoned, I left him. I said, no, no, no. So you need to filter out your friends. There are many of us here today. Why are you still here? Because your friend deceived you. My friend, my friend. My friend, my friend. To you is a friend. To you, to her, you are nobody. You only a stepping stone for her to climb. So why will you climb before her? So whatever you suggest. Ah! This, ah! Ah! As if your destiny are tied together. But this is not tied together. It's only when you marry your destiny, you and your husband, or you and your wife, your destiny will be tied. But for now, your destiny are not tied together. No friend is too important that you cannot leave him and move on with your life. But because we are sentimental, we are sentimental. If God can drive away the devil, Lucifer, from heaven, Chase him away. Banish him. If God, God was sent to me, if I had not allowed Luther to him, he would have polluted heaven. He banished him. So, brother, don't be that sentimental. If you have a friend that does not add value to you, today, tonight, delete his number from your phone. Block him. Somebody else, hey, come, 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 come. Hey, you know, somebody took me out. Even in friendship, 
Even in friendship. What are you looking for in friendship? What are you looking for as a woman in a friendship? He took me out. He brought me ice cream. He brought me pizza. He came with the, so that's what you're looking for. At the end of the day, you say, come back to the cocoon you are living. While others are adding value. Friendship bought somebody a television station. Are you not aware? Eh? We are. Uh, can you cut it? Let me say it. We are online. I don't want to create a problem. Somebody bought somebody a television station through friendship. Somebody bought somebody a house in Lakey. Opened a supermarket for somebody. Through what? He knew what he wanted. It's because we are sleeping on duty. We are sleeping, dozing. That's why even when opportunity comes, they show you uh, uh, ice cream from Canada. I bought this ice cream from Canada, you know, from uh, from New York. Hey, really? Hey, my friend, I ate ice cream. Hey, hey. What kind of nonsense is that? You don't know what you're looking for. Define your goal. Define your purpose. Even in relationship, define your goal and your purpose. If that relationship is going to get somewhere, your goal and your purpose will determine it. Don't allow sentiments. Make yourself cheap. Because if you make yourself cheap, like somebody will say the other time, if you pay peanuts, Babu will come to work. If you make yourself jello fries, children will struggle for you. So, brethren, that is what we are talking about. Then the fourth one is that your problem-solving skill must be able to generate income. You must have a financial base. Because the moment you can solve a problem, money comes naturally. You don't need to kill yourself to get it. Then you develop ability to network. Network means you cannot do everything alone. Like car manufacturers. They, no company manufactures car complete. They will go to another company who will manufacture the headlamp for them. They will go to another company who will manufacture the tire for them. They will go to another company who will manufacture this for them. It's a part of networking. Because you are serious, you look for someone who is serious too. Not, um, we are going out to do tomorrow. Let's, uh, you will argue and argue and argue and argue. There are people... That, they came to Lego. We are going to buy land. The argument, ah, Biafra and Allah, Biafra is going, Biafra is going. Buy it. When we are going, all of us will go together. After somebody, is it the big part you are sharing? After somebody, somebody has a house, he's a Nigerian, and has a land in London. Is it not true? Uh, so, what's the big deal? If I go to Biafra, I can still have land in Lagos. So this mentality, ah, Biafra is going, ah, 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 ah. You hide under a finger. Somebody in America has a land, in Nigeria has a land in America. Is it all true? I'm asking the church. And so what is the difference? There are some Nigerians in Chad who have buildings there. Is it all true? Uh, so what is it if I go to Biafra and I have a land in Lagos all I need to do is to do my papers let pay your tax and everything falls in line you are taking you will persecute you, nobody will persecute you you know why if anybody rough handles you, your government will speak for you and at that level to be mutual respect So you must be able to have the ability to network with like minds. Like minds who are taking what you are taking. Not those who don't know where they are going. Ah, no boy. Now, stop, stop, stop. Now, who side they go? Where did they go? Now, um, I just want to reach. Who side they go? I'm going to show Okay, let's go now. He enters the vehicle. No, now, wow. Now, man, there's one babe. Because he has to know where to go in. Go in. The devil will give you something to think about. Such people, back. Okay, go. 
You are going to pollute my thinking, talk, my thoughts. With this, your one pig. Now you are one guy. You are going to pollute it. And what I'm thinking may not be able to go straight. Let people know you for that. Just look at Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan. Peter got angry and eventually fell in line. He never said what he said before. But because you want to please everybody. That's why when God gives you a vision, people come and pollute it. I say, I don't want to, it's my friend, I don't want to offend him. So you are destroying your vision God has given to you for the sake of your friend. There's something should be wrong with you. Any question? Yes? Is there any question or contribution? All right. I'm complete. We'll, I'm complete. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. you have, we have heard you. Father, let your word bear fruit in our lives. Make us profitable in the 21st century. May our generation call us blessed. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. All right. Please let's give our Father and Lord a round of applause. It was a lovely one. Uh, all right. So, uh, uh, Mama, yeah. question. Um, I was saying that we have uh, two type of sleeping: physical one and spiritual one. And uh, I was discussing with somebody one day, and the person told me that I was asking the is there an elderly woman? I told her, I said, I learned you built a house, um, duplex. How did you come about that? She told me that when the okay. the warder's wife were sleeping, as I said, you should not show me no screen. That when they were sleeping, that she woke up. I said, Mama, can you give me uh, explain more? He said, Then there was a, a, what they call it, this school, uh, Lasso, a satellite campus, and they were here. So she has to wake up. That when everybody was sleeping, that is when she woke up and start her business. And now that everybody has woken up, that she has made what she wants to make. And I picked that word. What am I trying to bring out from that word? When we look around us, where we stay. In fact, I was so, I'm so blessed. I saw one of her sisters. I saw her in the market. I said, ah, what are you doing? She mentioned something and the thing touched me. He said, she's a salary earner. And she needs to have a, another you know, Use of income. income. I said, that's good. So what are we saying? Check your environment. Where you are staying. And know what is, you know, entails there. Look around. See what you can do. You must not wait for a white uh, collar job. Maybe you finish your university and you want to wait for until they give you a white collar job and you start working. No. The vicar said you must be diversified. It's allowed. You can while you are still waiting for that white collar job, you can still get something else you are doing. Watch these rich men. Hmm? They don't have a particular income. One particular no no no. They have different types of income. There was a that was passing through this, I don't know the street, but just not the main uh, Awola World Road, inside. And I saw a place they dropped a, this uh, Coca-Cola fridge. And I began to wonder, who has this? I was checking to know who has that freezer. Found out that is a very big woman that has that freezer there. And he employed an Aosa man to be selling it. In that area, you can't see anybody selling chill drink. It was only this person. And each day I pass there, when they fill up the, the uh, chiller, the next day you will not see anything in that chiller. 
And I want to tell you that in that chila, you can use six cartons. So which means such a uh, uh, thing is moving very well there. So check around where you stay. Look what moves, what you can. Not what people are doing. What you. You think about it. Even when the vicar was talking about church, even as in the church, when you don't think what is, will make your church to move forward, forget it. People will hijack your membership. They will look for somewhere else. So that's why it, will not, it should not be dull. So look for what you can do around you. Even if it's not around you, you can look for somewhere else. In the more you dress well. Somebody asked me, my aunt, at this one I used to wear suit. Why do you wear suit? I said, it's what you call your dog. That is what it is. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. When you say this is your shop, oh, is, uh, is, mm, let me just, the way you take it, that is how it's going to be. So when I dress like this, when the person was asking me, it was one coming here. He said, why am I dressing so like this? I said, yes, I need to dress well. Because I might be in my office and they called me in a company that they needed, they want uh, somebody distributorship and I should come around. I will gladly go. I don't need to waste. I go to my car, I have different type of shoe I put inside there. Yes. When it comes to do business, I do it. When it comes to go to anywhere, you do it. So what am I trying to say? I'm trying to give us an idea. Let's try as much as possible. Let's diversify. Think about it and God will bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. More questions, contributions? Okay. Praise the Lord. That you said something concerning friendship. Like there is an adage that said, two is a, three is a crowd, and only two can be friends. I learned a lesson from what you said. And is that of the friendship I made in the past that brought me backwards. So and I use it to tell my children, often say, be careful with whom you call a friend. Friend can lead you to six feet. They are there to spoil you and get away with it. So anything that concerns friends, this time around, I'm always careful. Even I have paid, waved off anything friendship on my side. I look up to Jesus. He's the only friend I have. And I keep telling my children, be careful. Because what I experienced in the past, I don't pray for any of you to experience it. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Just to add something to that. You see, um, you can still be friends with people and not still be friends with people. You're not worried with anybody. So friendship does not... Many of you have gone so far, you have revealed your secret. God gave you a revelation of your wedding and how it's going to be. You did not secure it through spiritual insurance. And you are telling your friend, hey, how is that... That your friend, do you know his spiritual capacity? I remember when we, a banner church, we were to cry church to camp. The room where they kept us, by one, we started our vigil. We had to start a vigil. So we were about to go. A lady, our neighbor, thought that all the world has gone. So I said, let me rest a little bit. What was her prayer? Father, she mentioned the name of her friend. We never married that man. He would never marry before me. Oh God. A shit. I was. We had to hit on the wall. Say, so what, what did the person do to you? But the person didn't know he was at home now dozing. And she would come back. He would not come back and say, hey, How far now the wedding now? Yes. Um, hey. He gave me some money. Hey, hey, he took me out. Hey, he bought me ice cream. He bought me chocolates. So these are the things. You can still be at peace with people but without being friends. That's the issue. You're not quarreling with anybody. You're not, you not quarreling. But we will say we interact. But there are things I will not tell you about my life. Now to know how far you have gone, try to add five years to your life now. All of you know how old you are. 
add five years or ten years to your life, you will discover that you are no longer a small person. What would be what will you be doing in your old age? Why will you settle down? Because it's what you do that they say the firewood you you fetch during the dry season you use during the rainy season. The other time we talked about fathers. Many of them, fathers die in the house. Oh, so the devil has done his worst. At the time, it's not the devil that has done the worst. Lack of planning. You live in a house. You know, that is why you living in a free house is the most wicked thing you can give to a man who has no vision. You live in a free house. Mm, yes. You are doing hand like this. Until you retire, you won't know that you have to pack out. When you retire, hey, probably five years to go. J3. Hey, where do we go now? Hey, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. Before you know it, you start thinking negatively. That's how sickness comes. So when you think nervously, that's where high blood pressure comes. But when you think with ease, you develop your brain capacity. Do you know what it takes to think? On how to manufacture a car, the kind of brain you think you apply. Why they don't have high blood pressure? Why is it too poor? We be having it. So add years to your life, you know what we are talking about. May God never cut us on our words. Yes. Okay, thank you, sir, for what you just explained so far. Uh, my question is: a present twenty-first century youth. He's battled with so many things. Now let's be practical about it. One thing I know that affects a present 21st century youth is forget the global social media thing, which is constant. They are dealing with lots of things like mental health, health, depression, and so many things that they can't even contain. That's why you see, on, you see online or you see on Instagram where you see somebody is battling drugs, drugs addiction. And you're wondering, this person is how old? Maybe 18 or 19. But any small thing, he's going back to those drugs. He can't think. He can't do anything. If you're in a gathering of such people, what would you advise them? And how would you tell them going forward? Because this, the, the, I, see things, I see the world going so global that there are things that if you can't handle, you just collapse. You're right. And when you collapse, people will not be like, is he charm from the village? Not knowing that it's that person's mental Will I say mentality, emotional well-being that she couldn't manage or he couldn't manage. And our parents these days, they don't know how to manage that. They can't even talk to you. Sometimes you have to say, ah, mommy, this is how I'm feeling. They will not say, oh, okay. They will not be like, explain. So if you're in that kind of gathering, how do you tell that person? How do you tell that youth? Okay, it's part of the way we say it here. You see, I deliberately decided to choose my words because I was online. Others will be watching I didn't pick my words. What are you the word negative? When you are thinking negative, the impact is hard that when you are thinking positive. Now, when you are thinking negative, something you are coming from somewhere. And nobody just starts drug in a day. It's friends. Peer pressure. Who are your friends? Parents, our parents are not aware of what we are going through. Because today, if you want to make a bomb, it's not difficult to know. Go to Google, Google it, how to make a bomb. You see that they will tell you, put this, but if in the process you are doing it, it will explode with you. Uh, then it's your gift. So, our parents and Google, was not, they don't have Google. They never had Google. But we are the new generation coming up now. So what are we going? To, what are we talking about? That's why this pro program is very important. Who is your friend? We said here that friends have destroyed many homes, many lives. Peer pressure. There are all sorts going on today. That is why, and for parents, your parents are not here. I would have said, for parents, you know, there are things you need to watch out among your children. Every time he's drinking Coca-Cola, ah, my son lost Coca-Cola. Check that Coca Cola. One woman did it. You saw Coca Cola, the son kept. She went and drank it and slept for three days. When she woke up from the hospital, 
Say, oh, I thank God, though. Say, where am I? What happened to me? They said, Mama, we saw you with Coca Cola. He said, There's also a person in the room. He said, Coca Cola. No, there are so many things inside. There are so many guys that things inside. He said, well, There are so many things going on today. How did it start? Through friends, peer pressure. You want to be like, you know, ah, grrr. you want to be like, uh, you know, like one of my uncles in those days. He said, I wanted to talk to the father with boldness. He went and drank beer. So by the time he came to the father, hey, daddy, you see now? Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, he permitted. Oh, he permitted. And fell inside the vomit. Well, sorry, oh. That's what he was told. And he went and drank himself to stupor. So he would have boldness to speak. Friends said it. Told him. Advised him. So that's why you have to be conscious of your friend. That's the underpinning. And for somebody who's already in it, already, there are two ways out of it. One, he needs counseling. Two, he needs prayer, Jesus' intervention. There's no two ways about it. Only Jesus can break that yoke. An addict, only Jesus can break it. And how do you know it? When your child begins to do... I'm telling you, watch it. Or your friend, all of a sudden... Watch it. He's into it already. Jones is, Jones is starting. It's what we call Jones. You heard about it. Uh -huh. It starts. So that's why you have to be very, very careful. Who is your friend? Who is your friend? It's not compulsory. You must have a friend. It's not compulsory. That's not. God said, if you have a friend, I will push you out. No. God never said that. May God help us. We are concluding. Sit. I know you want to go. And you came late. Uh, we'll just take uh, two one more. more. Okay. One more. Two more questions. Or, um... Okay. Just to um, put more light to the question Chika asked and um, the contribution Vika gave, recently we went to, um, I think, a secondary school in Osborne. Yes, um, I was privileged to follow Mama Yard and Auntie Edith, Mommy Lovett, and we went there. So we went to sanitize the children about Valentine's Day. We do that every year, praise God. Now, there's a scenario, because when I talk to stu um, children, especially students, I use story in teaching them. Because you can say everything you want to say. What is in their mind, they will do it. Praise the Lord. But when you use story, even when they go back home, they ponder on this story. And when you come next time, even before you say, my name is, they will call you the initial name you came the first time. Praise the Lord. Now, what am I saying now? The last time we went, that is recently, I gave them a story of Banky W. We all know him now. And his wife. Um, this thing, what's her name again? Adesua, praise God. Now, they have a cook, praise God. They have a cook. I know there's a difference between a cook and a chef. Do you understand? A cook can do a goosey, eh? But a chef will do macaroni severete, even when you don't understand. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, what they did not know is that, what, or rather, what the cook does not know that is that um, Banky W and the wife, they had plans of sending this cook to an Italian school to make him a chef. But what spoiled this plan was, this cook was a thief. Now, it's not about him being a thief. He was a greedy thief. Now, the thing is, anytime Banky W is going for a shopping, he takes this his cook and his driver, and he gives them a cash of 25,000 Naira each. This is aside their salary. And he says, go and shop. Go and buy your own um, groceries. Do you understand? If he's going to a boutique to buy his clothes, he gives them a stipend, an amount. Take this, take this. Go and buy your own. It's not only me that is looking good. You too, go and look your own good. Do you understand? Now, this is outside their normal salary or allowances or whatever. But he was so greedy that even with these things that he was giving to, he still does what he stole. Now, the recent one that he stole, because when they caught him finally, oh, oh, God, sorry, na devil. Oh, God, sorry, na devil. My papa people, did they call me for nights? Oh, God, sorry, na devil. 
they forgave. But the one now, the recent one now that drove him away was Milo. A sachet of Milo, 15 naira. And that, during that week, they all went for grocery shopping. Banky W, the usual way now, he gave them money, go and shop. Everybody has shopped. So that night, at this one wanted to drink tea. So the husband said, okay, don't worry yourself. Let me go down and do this tea for you. So she, he opened the cabinet. There was no Milo. Uh-uh. Why is there no Milo again? This is what I know we bought recently. It's not as if we bought it two weeks ago. And hey, maybe visitor came. We bought it recently. So they played their CCTV and saw this man taking a sachet of Milo. Now, when they called him, uh, oh, God, sorry, now, devil, oh, God, sorry, now, devil, there's no problem with the devil. You go and sort this devil out now yourself. Now, when they were driving him out, they now showed him his passport and his, um, this thing, his papers they have done for him to go to Italy to become a chef. Now, why am I saying this now is to narrow it down to our youth of today. We are so impatient. We are like the cook. We want it sharp, sharp. And the banking now, I'm not going to say banking is a God, but that is how God's thought is for us. He has a perfect thought and a perfect plan for us. But because we are in a hurry, we want to beat what the next person is doing. We want to be trendy. That's the word. We want to be trendy. I know friends that we are 650,000 era here. See dates. But they cannot open their body for you because of rashes. They have hepatitis B. And when they die, thank God I'm the admin. I will help them. I will contribute money. Yes, we'll go to the graves and <laughs> we will contribute, but we know the story. There are many of us that are so impatient. We bring this pressure to ourselves. You see an 18 year old boy, he's buying a G wagon for what? Does he know how to spare a G wagon? You want to live a fast life, you want to live a quick life, you want to be trendy. When I type Google, your name comes up first. So we bring this pressure to ourselves, not knowing that God has a bigger picture for us. You go to Instagram, you see a child, a 15 years old boy, you are buying G Wagon. You are telling your teacher, eh, what is a certificate? Eh, Malian, we know they go to school. But the Malian, you are saying, no, they go to school. He's, he has a business law. He went to school in UK. He has a yes, business law. That is a Naramali. Yes, he is a, he's a graduate in business law in UK. The name Malian the, or the name Naramali is because of his law for, um, what's this name? Eh? Bob Mali, yes, that's how he got the name Malian. That's how he got the name Mal uh, Nara Mali, dear. But you, you say without bets, Malian know they go to school. Malian know they go to school. You want the fastest way. You go and join and you'll be naked in a gravesite for one week. But what they don't know is that they give you a lifespan. You cannot live more than 25. You have to spend 20 million naira in a day. So you are spending 20 million naira in a day and you are confused. It's already madness because you did not work for that money. So spending 20 million, you ordinary yourself, you get depression. So even when you are getting depression, self, I'm even advertising my market. Oh, God, I the sell jeans, so I sell canvas. So that even when you are spending 25 million naira, I ate inside, but we pay tight. So it does not concern me. I was not the one naked in the grave. We bring these pressures to ourselves. We want to be in the spotlight at all times. But are you ready for the measures that come? Are you ready for the side effects that come? Consequences. They say clap, they turn to dance. When I see people, and I know this one is living a fast lane, I take an excuse. No be quarrel. Good morning, good morning. No be quarrel. Do you understand? So don't put yourself in this pressure. I go on Instagram, there are people I see that I will unfollow them. It's not quarrel. It's not by force. They say even if you marry today, you don't marry my husband. Praise the Lord. So there's no pressure. Don't put pressure on yourself. We bring this pressure to ourselves. And you see, 15 years old, 18 years, 21, you are depressed. What are you depressed of? Are you paying school fees? No. There's somebody paying this school fees. So then why are you depressed? Your father that even gave birth to you is not depressed at that age. So we bring this suffering to ourselves. We are carried away with social life. But you don't know that most of these celebrities, they are living in debt. Most of them are living in debt. I even heard recently, I had, there was somebody that came to the church, he wants, to, um, he wants, to be, he wants his child to be baptized, and they were talking about Obi, Obi Kubana, Obi Kubana. Can you do what Obi Kubana is doing? That is the question. Obi Kubana, Obi, can you do what he is doing? You want to rent a private jet for, uh, private, um, what they call it, jet, for two billion naira, only you, or sorry, two million naira, only you. At this age, why? Why? Life is stages. We have to crawl before we walk. We have to walk before we run. We have to run before we jump. But we are so much in a hurry. And those people that are in a hurry, what is their end? The grave. Don't put pressure on yourself. You know this person, you know the source of this person's money. Don't, don't wahala. Eh? Ibo say, ah, my Ibo is not good. I watch also, I go on my. Abi? So that is it. Don't put pressure on yourself. There were times I could not afford the things I wear now. 
you understand? I did not keep myself. Sometimes if you even joking with me, so I remember when I started working here, he wore jeans. There were times, you, you always say it. There were times I could not afford what I was wearing now. But oh, praise God. And, and I was so happy. Oh. It's not as if I wore that one jean and I was angry and I was sad with myself. That's rubbish. Even without my one jeans, I will greet everybody. And I will abbreviate the name. Auntie Me, Auntie Joy, Auntie... Do you with happiness. Do you understand? But now that I can afford those things now, I am grateful. Oh, I know the value of these things. So I cannot waste it. So even when I give another person, when I'm talking to you, I tell you with my experience. I don't tell you with another person. They say there's no best teacher than your own life experience. I tell people there's a difference between sympathy and empathy. Empathy, you have lived it. So you can sympathize with another person. Sympathy, you have not lived that life the person is telling you. So you don't understand. Praise the Lord. Auntie, my auntie, to auntie. I think with that, um, I'll just chip in one few words. Mine, take, uh, going by what our Father in the Lord has uh, imbibed in us this evening, the advice is this stick to your Deuteronomy 8 18, and then you pray. Anything you do in life. Is God first. Put God first. I want to do this. Father, give me this vision. Or well, this is what I think I want to do. Yeah, and you take it to God in prayers. With all sincerity, I think God will surely see us through. Amen. Uh, with that said and done, I think um, we will call it today. We have, we have another day tomorrow, the music evening. This opportunity to invite those listening to us that are not here. If you please try and make it tomorrow. There is a it's going to be a variety evening. It's not going to be a, a dull day. Please, and uh, after that, we we'll look up to Sunday as the Thanksgiving service. And um, as we do this, as we honor this invitation god will honor us same way in jesus name we'll call on um, our father and the lord to close us let us pray in the name of jesus christ we pray Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you for our lives. Thank you, Lord, for another opportunity to think about our lives and how we can go forward. We thank you, Lord, that today your children have gathered together to brainstorm on how they can move forward. And we thank you, Lord, for all the series of lectures we have received, for all the contributions, for the questions asked, and uh, all the impact that this lecture has made in the life of your people. Father, be thou exalted in the name of Jesus Christ. We also thank you, Lord, for the lecturer who has also dealt with the topic extensively. Thank you, Lord, for the listeners. We pray, O oh Lord, that this will bear fruit and germinate, will germinate and bear abundant fruits in our lives. To the end, O oh Lord, that between now and this time next year, there will be ample testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. Have your way in our lives. And even as we continue with this, the other program tomorrow, Father, let your presence continue to be with us. Even on Sunday when the Thanksgiving will be done, Lord, let your children see a new thing in their lives. Because when Israel moved forward, they never get back to Egypt. And we pray that none of us will go back to Egypt anymore in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. As we go, may we never depart from your presence. Take us safely back to our homes. And this night, O Lord, protect us from every danger and peril of the night. And in the morning, Father, revive us again. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. We say the grace together. Amen. Ah,
Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. I pray that you go home and apply what you have heard today. And God bless you. Good night.